Good morning, everyone. Greetings, internet. Welcome back to another vlog. I just worked out and now I'm on a very important mission to go get soup ingredients, or should I say stew ingredients, because today I am becoming a crock pot lady. Like I said in the last video, it's been a dream of mine for a while to learn how to use a slow cooker or a crock pot. And my mom got me one for my birthday. So today I'm going to make a beef stew which I'm so excited about. I grew up eating this one stew. My mom sent me a recipe, so I'm gonna go get ingredients and we're gonna do it. It's the little things, guys, <laughs> truly. Okay, so welcome back to the vlog and let's go to the grocery store. So I have all my ingredients, and then I also have my beautiful new crock pot in the corner here. She has her new little spot. It looks beautiful in my kitchen next to my Keurig. I, I have to say, it looks really nice there. Um, anyway, so I've cleaned it and tested to make sure it works. And now I'm gonna follow these instructions my mom sent me. She actually sent me a little recipe card that she hand wrote and like scanned and emailed it to me which is just so her and so sweet of her. Um, I just asked her a question about cooking spray. I was reading the manual and it said that I should coat the inside of the crock pot with cooking spray just so stuff doesn't stick to it and it's easier to clean. But my mom says that that is optional, so I trust her <laughs> anyway. Um, so I have all my ingredients I just showed you guys. Um, I got everything that she said. Obviously, everyone's recipe for beef stew is not the same, so you might see something and be like, oh, that's interesting that she puts that in there. Well, my mom has been doing this for as long as I can remember. Like, when I was very young, we would eat this, and it's just like my comfort meal. So I'm very excited to get cracking on it. Also, oh my God, do I look terrible right now? I just <laughs> worked out hard this morning. I'm still like coated in sweat, but I'm going to knock this out because it has to sit for six hours today on high heat. If I'd started it earlier in the day, I could have done, I think, what is it? 10 to 12 hours on low heat. So I'm gonna be doing it high on high heat for four to six hours, but I'll be here the whole time. So there's no risk of it blowing up or anything. I will be sitting right here working. Uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is combine everything as my mom says in these instructions. I'm gonna write this out and put it in the description box below so you guys can, if you want to follow this recipe, you most certainly can. My mom will be so flattered, um, but it's simple. Like the reason why I want to become a crock pot lady is because it's just, it's my kind of cooking. You just put everything in one, one thing and then it just happens, you know? Like you have to measure things and like of course there's some more complex recipes, but for the most part, it's like, lazy girl's guide to making a delicious meal you know you just put it in there and um delayed gratification of it all like you know i have to sit here and smell how gorgeous it is all day and then i can finally eat it later today and i told jack my boyfriend that i'm making this and he's like all right i'll be over after work <laughs> so we'll see no pressure my first crock pot meal i know i'm gonna love it because i'm gonna follow mom's beef stew like i'm literally like look at this guys I don't know if you can even see it because it's like so backlit. Mom's beef stew. Like, can you read that? First thing I'm going to do is put meat in the crock pot. My mom said that I could get beef stew meat, but I wasn't exactly sure what that meant. I did a bit of research before I headed into the grocery store today. Yes, I literally did. I sat down and I was like, hmm, okay, what kind of meat is best for beef stew? And I landed on apparently beef chuck like whatever chuck means. Two pounds of meat per my mom's recipe makes six servings. I don't really need exactly six servings. I definitely want to have this for leftovers. So as much as it makes is totally fine. And then, so I'm gonna put this into the crock pot after I spray it. 
and then I'm gonna mix flour, salt, and pepper, pour it over the meat, stir it in there to coat it, and then I'm adding all of my veggies. I have uh, potatoes, I have carrots, I have a bunch of different spices, French onion soup, which is interesting. My mom loves to do this. Like she'll pour two cans of French onion soup over it. Sorry, getting texts. My mom, I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> And if you love it, all right, well, yeah, it looks pretty straightforward. It's like there's a, a high setting and a timer. And then I think you just push go. <laughs> like Anyone out there who cooks like all the time is definitely rolling their eyes so far in the back of their head at me right now. But you got to start somewhere. I have been a takeout girl my whole life and I've, I've wanted to be the kind of person that gets excited and inspired about cooking. And I think... 28 is the year for me to do just that. So yeah, all right, here we go. I'm, I'm gabbing on and I haven't done a thing. So let's put the meat in the crock pot and do all that. One quarter cup flour. I made this little mixture of flour, salt, and pepper. I'm going to coat the meat. Okay, so I'm nearly done. Just need to add bay leaf, and then I'm ready to cook. Okay, let's set this. I think we're good. Okay guys, it has begun cooking. Here we have it, five hours, 59 minutes. We will have dinner. <laughs> and I'm so excited, this is so great. Even if it tastes terrible, at least I tried, you know? I'm going to be proud of myself for trying something new. Even if it's something super mundane, super easy by other people's standards, like trying something new is good for the soul. It is good for the brain. It's good. It's good for many things, I feel like. Fingers crossed. But even if it doesn't, I'm still going to be proud of myself. <laughs> My neighbors must be confused, okay? They must be confused because I... I really never cook. I'd say the closest things to cooking slash my like biggest, grandest attempts at cooking in this apartment have really been limited to Annie's mac and cheese, the occasional like stir fry situation that never really fills me up because I feel like I just like put vegetables on olive oil and hope something magical happens and really I end up just being hungry, so <laughs> now I'm making it my mission to teach myself. And I think, if I had to guess, I think we have like an hour and a half left. Every so often, I'll just come over here and smell it. Oh my god. It's time to taste it. And I realized I actually um, forgot a very essential piece to the puzzle, which is biscuits. Usually my mom makes them in the oven, um, but I forgot, so I ordered some on Postmates. So, yep, I'm back to my old ways, back to my roots of ordering things on Postmates. But it's okay, next time I will remember and I will get them from the store and I'll make them. But you need a biscuit for this because that's like the best way to eat it, just dipping it into the stew, like the biscuit. So I ordered some, I'm going to like heat them up so they're really like nice and you know, perfect by the time it's time to eat. I'm so excited, I'm gonna go in on this. I love my new toy. I just want like a little bit of this broth. Divine. All right, crock pot, so far so good. I can't wait for the finished result in my bowl with a biscuit. What do you think? Try it. Don't be nice. Is it good? Delicious. <laughs> Actually? You know, I, yeah, well I only had a bit of the beef though. I need more vegetables. Yeah, get like a solid bite of like the mm. potatoes. Yeah. Wow. I'll give you like an eight out of 10. An eight? <laughs> well, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Wednesday morning, 
yesterday being Tuesday. Yesterday was stew day. Today is work day and another rainy day. It is gloomy again. I think the sun's gonna come out tomorrow, but honestly, it is what it is. I prefer it happening during the week than on the weekend. I kid you not, before last Saturday, which conveniently was my birthday weekend, very nice that we got good weather for that, but previous to that, the last seven weekends before that, it rained every Saturday. And oddly, it was like nice during the week and then the weekend would hit and it would just dump rain. And it was just disgusting on Saturday. So luckily now, I think we've broken that streak but we're back to it being kind of gloomy during the week. But you know, I really can't complain because it's helping me be more productive. I'm getting a lot of stuff done, computer stuff. I did all the Patreon wallpapers yesterday. They are live now. Um, if you guys are familiar with my Patreon, I post wallpapers every month uh, for the month. So my November wallpapers are alive as we speak. And yeah, now I'm just getting some random admin stuff done. Um, for the Patreon, but also for just some upcoming fun campaigns I'm shooting next week. And yeah, I gotta take my laundry out. I feel like this vlog is always like, <laughs> my vlogs are always like, all right guys, I'm taking the laundry, picking up the laundry, dropping off the laundry. Like I feel like the laundry is never done. Does anyone else ever feel that way? Like it's just never, even if you work from home like me and like have the luxury of being able to just go and drop it off and pick it up like during the day, whenever I feel like it, you know, or whenever I have time, I guess, in between stuff, because I do work, but you know, let's be real. I do have time like in the middle of the day to just go drop it off, pick it up. It's never done. Like, I feel like, I feel like I always am doing that. Like, I feel like I'm never fully without one piece of dirty clothing or something with like a random stain. Like I even think this jacket has a stain on it somewhere. Yeah. Anywho, it's chilly out, so I think I'm going to maybe put a bigger coat on than just this like windbreaker situation. I got this last year at Anthro um, because it's 42 degrees out, so it could actually like snow right now. Or not, no, it's not below freezing, but it's, it's close, you know? Take a break from this admin work, head out, do the laundry, and then um, what else am I gonna do? Uh, coffee, yes, my brain obviously clearly needs coffee, so I'm gonna get that. Um, might go to the grocery store again because of course in my haste to get all of my stew materials, I didn't get anything else that I needed like for the house. Like I need toilet paper, I need um, creamer, coffee creamer, amongst other things, so I might do that. There's just like all these random things I can do with this time, like before I continue my next thing and do my next call, but We'll see what I actually do <laughs> in that time. Anyway, stew night last night was a hit. It was so, so good. I have a little bit for leftovers today for lunch, but I'm already brainstorming my next stew or chili or whatever because it was so easy. Like I can't get over how easy that was. And by the time my work was done and everything was done yesterday, I didn't have to worry about what to make for dinner. Like it was already made, you know, I just served it. Like, it was that easy. So, I'm addicted to stews. I'm addicted to my crock pot. I'm officially a crock pot lady. And I can't wait to explore more recipes. Like, you guys need to send me your best recipes. Please, please, I'm begging you. I have a cookbook, but, you know, I wanna hear like what your favorite thing is. Okay, I'm dilly-dallying. Let's get on with the laundry and other things today. I hope you can hear me. I hope the wind isn't too strong. It's actually pretty chilly out here. Right now I'm actually gonna head to, I think Crate and Barrel real quick, because yesterday when I was making my stew, I realized that I actually don't have a ladle, which is kind of essential for scooping the stew into bowls, but also I don't have a potato peeler. <laughs> like, I ended up using a knife instead which was treacherous. So I need to get a potato or like vegetable peeler. So those two things bring me to Crate and Barrel, which is actually pretty close. That's why I'm going there. And I wanna browse, just window shop a bit, get the essentials and then maybe window shop. Just a tad, just a hair. <laughs> anyway, they're actually cleaning up the barricades from last night's um, Halloween, what was it, a parade? Festival? So. Whew. 
It is chilly though. All right, successful Creighton barrel run. I will show you guys what I got when I get home. Right now, I'm walking through Greenwich Village. Legend has it, I believe at the bitter end, Ernest Hemingway used to write there. Another little bit of history for you. So this building right behind me used to be my building. I used to live there in 2019. But before that, in I believe the 60s, I think it was an all male boarding house above a jazz club and now it's apartments and I used to live there here in Greenwich Village on Bleecker and Thompson and now I head back to the West Village where I live now okay so I'm back from Crate and Barrel and I'm eating a quickie little lunch I've heated up my stew from yesterday just leftovers I guess you can't really see that but I heated up my stew from yesterday, threw a little biscuit in there. This is lunch. Yeah, it's actually perfectly lunch time. It's like 12.30, which I feel like is the perfect optimal time to eat lunch in between things. So I did a bunch of things this morning and now we have entered the afternoon. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Crate and Barrel and then I have to knock out some emails. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the stew is even better the second day, I have to say. Okay. Mm. Let me show you what I got from Crate and Barrel. Very simple stuff. Something I didn't think I needed until I saw it, and then I realized I need it. I've never owned one of these before. It is just your average <laughs> paper towel holder. Um, I currently just have my paper towels sitting on the counter, and I feel like it's a true mark of adulthood to have one of these devices where I can just put, let me show you, look at that. Perfect, and now I feel like a real live adult with a paper towel holder. I got my vegetable peeler, just a classic black one. And then I got a ladle. I was in between the black plastic or just the silver and I was like, I feel like this will look nicer. <laughs> classic, I don't know if there's like a benefit to one over the other. I guess this one might get a little, a little hot, but I really don't care because it looks nice. So perfect. Now I will be able to scoop all of my soups and stews and everything without having to um, tilt it over like I had to do last night, which is treacherous. So I enjoy this ladle, even though I don't know how to spell ladle. I was trying to spell it earlier, putting it on my to-do list and I just, I couldn't figure out if it was L-E or E-L. L-A-D-L-E, L-A-D-L-E-L. Which one is it? Anywho, okay, so that is my Crate and Barrel haul, my very average, very boring Crate and Barrel haul. I'm now going to eat lunch, eat my leftovers, and then work a little bit. I have some emails with urgent in the subject line that I need to get to. First the stew, then the emails, okay. <laughs> We're in formation for the podcast. I never end up vlogging when we Hi. do this. Hello. So here we are. I can't take my hat off because I put it on, so now I'm committed. You're so chic, cozy girl. Wearing it. Cozy girl vibes. <laughs> Adam's in purgatory. Or what is it? I'm going to hell. You're in jail. You're on you're in the, the you reject the reject seat on the floor. Don't mind me and my little He mom. planted himself there. 
I was being polite. That is, that is very polite. <laughs> but I, I didn't know if you were going to stay there. I was prepared to take my turn. That's okay. I was I'll, waiting I'll in the I'll be the gentleman. Okay, stop being funny. We have to record. <laughs> we have to record this part. Okay. I think I could probably accurately guess what this is. Considering it says cheese and charcuterie on the sticker. <laughs> but... It's huge. Like, I don't know if I can even fit whatever this is in my fridge, but I'm gonna try. So, oh my god. Like, okay. Oh, Cloudy Bay! Oh my god, I think this is literally from Cloudy Bay. Look at that. Obviously we have a layer of plastic keeping it fresh. Pre-cut cheeses, olives, nuts and things, some meats under there. And then of course we have Cloudy Bay wine. Hands down, Cloudy Bay is my favorite white wine. Like when I go to the store and I want a Sauvignon Blanc, I ask if they have Cloudy Bay. I either look for Cloudy Bay or Oyster Bay, both New Zealand wines and both are really good, but like this one is my preference, typically. I am getting ready to go to dinner with Jack. We're going to Bobo, it's a French place. So I'm popping some shoes on. It's actually pretty cold, it's like 40 degrees. So I'm gonna layer up, wear one of my new coats. But you might see something going on over here in the corner. I got a new light, I got a pendant light. I just felt like this corner was so shadowy and I wanted to put this little pendant light right there, like it'll hang right there. I might move this picture. It's renter friendly, so I will get my security deposit back. And the vision is, so it comes with these little gold, it has a cover for the nail, so it looks really chic. It has a dimmer, which is very cool too. So essentially it's gonna hang like right over here in this corner. And I love the orb situation going on here. Um, yeah, West Elm, and it wasn't too, too pricey. I just have it sitting right here. I'm gonna get Jack to help me with that eventually, maybe next week because I'm actually going away this weekend. So we're doing a little girls trip to Jersey. My friend Allie has a beach house out there and it's the off season currently. So we're just gonna go and have like a cozy girls weekend out of the city, cook some stuff. Um, yeah, drink some wine, <laughs> I don't know. Kind of like living our big little lies, life, lives this weekend. So yeah, I might film some clips and throw them at the end of this vlog, but I might not film anything and just enjoy myself, who the heck knows. So tonight getting dinner and then tomorrow we leave early afternoon. We're driving out, got a rental car, the whole nine yards, pumped. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> bent over because I don't know why. I just, I always just plop you on top of this stack of books instead of getting my tripod. I'm going to develop back issues because of this. <laughs> but anyway, guys. But yeah, it's gonna be just a casual, casual little evening. And then I think this might be the end of the vlog, guys, as we know it. I feel like I did some random stuff this week. Next week's actually very jam-packed with events and work stuff that is gonna be interesting to show you guys. So that might even be two vlogs now that I think about it. I have something like really crazy going on like every day next week. <laughs> so if I don't see you guys, I wanna say bye now because there's a chance I might not say it again. <laughs> the worst is when I'm sitting down to edit and I'm like, wait, I never said bye. Like, that's rude. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for being so supportive of this new era of me being consistent with uploads every Monday. I post a vlog on my channel. So subscribe and like this video so the algorithm picks me up and puts my videos on your page so you don't miss them. And yeah, that's it guys. Have a fabulous Monday or whenever you're watching this. Bye.